Hi, I'm Dan Elder with Kidasa Software. Welcome to this video about showing status in Milestones Professional. To show status on the schedule, first we'll need to enable that option. In the Dates tab, we're going to check Symbols fill the status and Bars fill the status. You can see currently all the symbols and bars are using one solid color. If I check Bars fill the status, you can see now the bars are representing percent complete. And if I check Symbols fill the status, now the symbols have a different color based on their percent complete. If you want to change what colors the bar uses for after status, you can double click on the bar in the toolbox. So for this orange bar, I'm going to double click right in the middle of the toolbox on the bar section. And then you can see there's an after status color right there. So if I change this after status color, to a different color and press OK. Then you can see that bar now uses red as that after status color. One way to set the status of a row is to add a status symbol. You can see this arrow right here is actually set up as a status symbol. So if I double click on that arrow, I've chosen status symbol for the symbol type. So if I add this to a row, that's going to be the new status date. So I've got this arrow selected, I've got my large plus tool selected. So if I click and drag on an existing row, then you can see it changes the status date for that row. Usually status symbols are invisible. In this case it's an arrow so you can see what's going on. And if I add one to this row, now you can see this project looks like it's ahead of schedule. But what if you've got multiple tasks on the same row and you want different percent completes for each one? Luckily, we've got a solution. Using my arrow tool, I'm going to click on the start symbol of a bar. And in that start symbol, in the selection tab, we're going to go to the size slash color sub tab. And in this tab, you can actually set the percent complete for up to two bars coming out of that symbol. So since there's only one bar here, I'm going to select the first bar fill percent. And as an example, I'll set it to 33%. And now you can see just this task right here is set at 33%. As another example, if I want to mark this milestone as incomplete, I could click on this red triangle. And for first bar fill percent, I could set that to 0%. And now it looks like it is incomplete. And just a couple tips before we go. If you want to delete all of your status symbols, uh, you can either go to each status symbol and just press delete on your keyboard, or you can go in the edit tab, click on the big X for all status symbols. Now you can see those status symbols have disappeared. Uh, these percent completes still have an override. So what we're going to do, if we want to get rid of those overrides, is go to the Tools tab, and over here there's a little button for Manage, Symbols, Pictures, etc. You click on that, and click on Manage Symbols. And there's a lot of things you can uh, remove here. Uh, for now, we're going to remove all percent complete overrides from every symbol, and press OK. And that kind of gets the schedule back to how it originally was. And one final note, the first row is using a newer type of bar that we have. So if I double click on that bar in the toolbox, you can see instead of a before status and after status color, it's got a main bar and a progress portion. So it works a little bit differently, uh, but it's the same concept and you can show status uh, the same way that you can show status with other bars. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video about showing status in Milestones Professional. Be sure to visit our website at kidasa.com and email support at kidasa.com with any questions. Have a nice day.